Hi, I'm Keith Adler. I'm a software engineer at Cloudflare. And uh, I've worked on a few different teams here. Really worked with data and data science projects and the software engineering around that. Uh, kind of filling a machine learning engineer role for those uh, different products and then building them out into something that customers could use. So this recent effort of notebooks was to essentially say, you know, you want to look at your data, you want to explore your data, you want to use Cloudflare more effectively um, and being able to Use that in a notebook is a really easy way to kind of step in and immediately start uh, displaying and doing analysis of your data. And so from there, we added the ability to um, have an OAuth login so that you can actually log in as you to um, your notebook. And then you have a token available to you with certain permissions um, so that you can access and run different examples that we built out. And it's available on on the blog, on our GitHub repo, um, and we're looking to do more. Also, um, notebooks.cloudflare.com. Uh, there's there's a lot of different ways you can access this, but the idea is that um, now you can actually load your data and your zones, your websites, and you can see the traffic. You can see analysis of different services you can use. Um, we're looking to expand that, so we're open to contributions on GitHub, so others can add new example types, or they can add questions, or try to expand on what what we can do with it. So looking forward to what uh, the community and us can build together. Working with uh, Mariamo on this, uh, it's an open source project that we've been partnered with. Uh, they have a fantastic ecosystem I would encourage you to check out, but it's it's a more modern approach to notebooks and they have a lot of different integrations that I think will make it a lot easier to work with different data sources and Cloudflare services. In particular, uh, their team has been great. And so uh, one thing we've found working with them is that these different examples of how to build out Cloudflare APIs all have great visualizations so you can see like your DNS logs and you can group them by where did this traffic come from in the world and uh, analysis on workers AI or different examples of uh, how to work with R2 or D1 or other services. So it's it's been really cool to build that together and have kind of this finished product that is ready and available for everyone at uh, on the blog, on the com, and on GitHub. Yeah, so uh, really... For me, a lot of times uh, when I start data projects, I always want to pull things into a data frame and start looking at it in a notebook. We have some great examples with looking at your zone logs. You can look at, hey, for my website, how do I look out and see uh, all the different insights of where where did this traffic come from? What countries did people access my site from? What alpha were they accessing? Were there any anything that was blocked? Were um, all healthy traffic or were there, were there a bunch of errors that were occurring? And I can... I can dig through all of that. And um, whether you're a developer or a site owner, I think there's a lot of interesting things just for that. But there are a lot of other services. We have a whole section on the compute, which uh, could be workers-based metrics if you're using a lot of different worker services or workers AI. We have a few different examples that I think are pretty cool. If you are on more of the storage and data side, I mean, D1 and R2, uh, KV, all these different data stores we have uh, access to and examples there. Uh, I think there's a lot of uh, opportunity to expand on these examples. I mean, we already talked about adding like an MCP server example so that um, things that even we've Cloudflare's even blogged about, we can build examples of, oh, here's how you could do it. But now we can say, now you could do it with your actual login. You could do it as you rather than some generic example that we built out for a blog post or documentation. I think you can actually run the code yourself. So I think that's a really big difference between looking at a documents page and being able to run the documents page. We had a few different announcements on the blog post. Uh, one of them is the actual notebook site and the GitHub a repo with examples. Looking to expand it and add more contributions to those uh, to add for new products and new ideas. Uh, we have a lot of existing products that don't have examples, so we'd love to see more added there and more that we can add to as well over time. Um, but I think the next step for a lot of this is going to be looking at the container side. We have one example in the blog post of running different examples like Miramel in a container on Cloudflare's new compute engine uh, for containers. And that is a very interesting ecosystem, and I would encourage you to check it out. Uh, right now, there's examples of it, but we'd like to actually formalize that more and build out uh, an ecosystem that you can run more managed notebooks on Cloudflare. So that could be pretty cool to open up a lot more use cases on the technical side to allow for much higher amounts of compute and different resources. And there's a lot of things on like GPU access that are a little bit more challenging today, but we're looking to make that easier in the future. I, I think there's a lot of really interesting ways to reach out and work with us. Uh, one, I mentioned the GitHub uh, community. On that community, we have GitHub issues, and I added a contributor document. So if you want to 
add new examples of notebooks. So you want to add more products and so you want to expand on the existing work that's there. I uh, just had a PR. Uh, you could fork the repo and build things and, and merge it in with us. I'm looking forward to what people build. I would also say we have a Discord server, the Cloudflare developer Discord server. Um, that's a really easy place to reach out to us and, and uh, talk about any product. There's also Miramo has a Discord server. I would encourage you to reach out to them and uh, as well. Uh, there are a lot of features on Miramo that are pretty cool, and working with them has been fantastic. Stay tuned to uh, see what we build with Cloudflare Notebooks and with Miramo to see uh, kind of the next chapter of what these products and data can um, really enable as far as notebooks and the user experience with your data.